Alright guys, so we're doing the movies from 2001. We're ranking them. Guys, I look like I have like... That's the wrong side of my face, dude. I'm stupid. I look like I got a, like punched in the face. God damn. Anyways, guys, it's like 12.30 in the morning. Um, I'm literally just out here fucking around. And I decided, listen, we did the year 2000 with movies. We, we ranked those. So let's go ahead and do it with 2001, right? Uh, again, there's probably gonna be a lot of movies I haven't seen just because I was freaking two, you know, two or three or whatever you want to talk about, depending on the time of the year. So it's like, hey, guess what? There's not gonna be a lot of movies I've seen this year, but there's a, a decent amount. There's some bangers from 2001. So let's go ahead and get this shit done. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Right away, we see some incredible movies on here. I mean... This, it looks like it's all in alphabetical order, so that's how we're going to do it. Um, but there's going to be a lot, like I said, that I haven't seen. Um, but let's let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to start alphabetical order. Wow. I don't know how to speak. Good Lord. All right. Alphabetical order. Not alphabetical or whatever I said there. Alphabetical order. Uh, you got a beautiful mind. That's Russell Crowe. Guess what? I haven't seen this. I have it on Blu-ray. I just have not gotten around to seeing it. It's just, it's something I don't own. Uh, I, or it's something I own, I just haven't watched. AI, I haven't seen that one yet. A Knight's Tale, have not seen that one. Ali, I have not seen that one. I haven't seen this. Dude, there's a lot of things I haven't seen, but American Pie 2 is definitely like A tier, all right? Now, you, you can tell me I'm wrong all you want, but it's okay. I know you're lying to compensate for the fact that you think fucking, I don't know, uh, some bullshit movie like Bridget Jones' Diary is A or something. Honest to God, that's what you're doing right now, and that's not okay, all right? Anyways, we've got Atlantis. All right, hold on. we got to move Bridget Jones' Diary back over. This is in alphabetical order. We've got to do this correctly. Atlantis. I just watched Atlantis for the first time in my life. God damn it. It's an A, all right? It is an A. I can't believe I've never seen it till just now. I like I actually just watched it. I have it on DVD. Um, I watched for the first time ever like three or four days ago. Incredible movie. Actually incredible. Uh, Behind Enemy Lines, I have not seen that since I was like six, so I'm not going to go ahead and do anything. Black Hawk Down. Ah. <sighs> I don't love the movie. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I want to put it in like a B or a C. I genuinely do not love the movie. So I'm going to throw it in C. I saw it when it like when I was like maybe 12, 13. And what is it? My friends just recently rewatched this. I was over at their house. We were all together. We were all hanging out. And we were all like, hey, let's watch a movie. I literally decided not to watch the movie because I was like, I've seen it. I don't love it. I don't know. It's just not my thing. Um, Blow, Johnny Depp. I haven't seen it, but I own it. I really want to watch it. Bridget Jones' Diary, easily a C. I'm sorry, but it's just not a good movie. The whole Bridget Jones trilogy is 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 mid. It's C, all right? 100%. It's just not, it's not good. It's really not. Uh, Brotherhood of the Wolf, never heard of it. Cats and Dogs, yeah. We're going to go ahead and throw that in C as well, simply because the first one was actually kind of good, but like, obviously it's like Bridget Jones' Diary, Black Hawk Down good, where it's like, yeah, I watched it once, but like, I don't ever have to watch this movie again. Like, I feel like C tier is like the one and done category. It's like, all right, I watched it once. It's like, that's good enough. I, 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 I never need to watch that again. Anything above that, I feel like, is something I would rewatch. I don't know. Uh, we've got, what, Cowboy Bebop? Never seen it. Donnie Darko, right? Yeah, I've never seen it, but I really want to. Dr. Doolittle 2. This might just be the kid in me, but I really enjoyed Dr. Uh, Dr. Doolittle 1 and 2, so that's going in the Bs, all right? Now, here comes everybody, anybody that loves Bridget Jones' Diary. Oh, why is that in C, but Dr. Doolittle 2 is in B? What <laughs> is because I just told you why. Dr. Doolittle is goaded. Alright? Don't fuck with Dr. Doolittle. Alright? Has nothing to do with the fact that the main star of the movie and I share the same first name. Alright? Driven? Never never heard of it. 
Druids, never heard of it. I'm going to be honest. Elvira's Haunted Hills, never actually seen it. Uh, what does that say? Some enemy gates, never seen it. Evolution, never seen it. Fantasy, never seen it. Holy shit. Freddy Got Fingered. I really want to watch that movie, actually. Somebody told me about it. I really want to, really actually want to check it out. But I haven't seen it. From Hell, never seen it. Ghost World, never seen it. Guys, 2001. I mean, shit. I don't know. There's just... Some of these movies don't look that appealing. Gosford Park? Who the fuck? What the fuck? Who, who wanted to watch this movie? This looks like it was from the 50s. Hannibal. This is a great friggin' movie. I feel like this is probably one of the S-tier movies of tw uh, 2001. Actually. Like, really. Like, realistically. Hannibal, coming off of... What was it? Uh, Silence of the Lambs, right? And uh, I don't know if Hannibal came out before or after Red Dragon. I think it came out before Red Dragon. But it, it's an incredible movie. I mean, Hannibal is genuinely an incredible movie. Harry Potter, Sorcerer's Stone, uh, or Philosopher's Stone, if you're anywhere else um, but America. Uh, sorry, United States of America. Uh, S tier. S tier. Harry Potter, year one, S tier. I, I mean, you want to fight me on that? Go ahead. You're going to fucking lose. All right? All right. Pfft, what is this? Heartbreakers? I've never seen it. I don't even know what this one says. I, like, What does that even say? I can't read. I have the reading level of a three-year-old. I am Sam. Oh, man. This is like A tier, I feel. It's so good. Uh, What is it? Sean Penn? I think it's Sean Penn. And um, Dakota Fanning. Sean Penn is like, uh, he, he's, he's got like mental disability where he's, ob uh, he, he's obviously, I, I believe it's autism um, of some degree, where he's a grown man, he's got a daughter who's Dakota Fanning, and he has the brain of like a 12-year-old boy or something like that, they said. It's such a good movie though because it shows how much he does know and how loving and nurturing he is towards his daughter. And it's such a, such a stellar movie. Really, like, it really is. And I honestly, there's a few reasons it's not an S tier. But we're like one or two reasons away from it being S tier. But we're going to throw it in A, just for fun. In the bedroom, never even heard of that. Iris, never heard of it. Jason X, guys. Jason X, because I love Friday the 13th, Jason X has some awesome kills, and as stupid as it is, yes, Jason Voorhees in space, that's dumb, but listen, I love it, it's campy, and it's trashy, and that's exactly what they were going for, at this point, everyone knew Friday the 13th was down the drain, and they wanted to make a movie in between uh, Jason Goes to Hell and Freddy vs. Jason, because we all knew that Freddy vs. Jason was going to happen, alright? So they had to find a way to make another Jason movie. So they made him go into the future hundreds of years. And it's awesome. It's so campy. It's so stupid. But it works. I love it. B tier for sure. For sure. Um, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. I've never seen it, guys. Jeepers Creepers. Alright, so the, the creator of the movie, was it the director? I don't want to be like the... the the asshole here. I believe it was the director, but like the head honcho of Jeepers Creepers did some really messed up stuff. Um, but the movie's good. The movie's good. I'm gonna put it in B tier. Like it's it's a good movie. I'd rewatch it. I it's just I mean I'm sorry for the fact that he's a bad person, but I'm not gonna dishonor and discredit all the actor and actresses that were in this movie. So. Um, moving on, we've got Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, this movie, B tier, it was a huge part of my childhood, Jimmy Neutron, in general, is an awesome show, the movie was t incredible as well, so we're gonna put that in B tier, obviously, Josie and the Pussycats, never even knew they had a live action movie, I know the cartoon, uh, Joyride, I have not seen Joyride, Jurassic Park 3, I feel is like, <sighs> I feel like that's definitely C tier, like B to C tier. What do I want to do? I feel like we got to put it in B because it's definitely superior to Bridget Jones' Diary. So, uh, K-Pax, never even heard of that. I'm not going to lie to you. 
no, I don't know. Kissing Jessica Stein. That sounds like it would be an interesting movie. Lie. I've never heard of Lie. Tomb Raider. L Lara Croft Tomb Raider. This is a C, guys. I don't like Lara Croft Tomb Raider, all right? Angelina Jolie, right? It's just not my cup of tea, personally. Um, I don't like the remake either of uh, Tomb Raider. It's just, I don't know. I don't know why. It's just how I am. I'm sorry. So we've got Legally Blonde, and this is kind of where things get tricky. Because, like, Legally Blonde is superior to Bridget Jones' Diary. But I don't think it's better than, like, Tomb Raider, which is also in C. I feel like Legally Blonde is in C. I was able to watch it once. I own the first and the second, but, like, I've never even watched the second. So, like, do I even, like, I don't, like, the fact that I was able to watch the first and I can't even get to the second, I feel like is good enough to put in the C bin. Because, I mean, clearly... I was able to get to the second on Jurassic Park 3, and Jason X is the 10th one, and American Pie 2, and Dr. Doolittle 2, they're all sequels, and I was able to get to A and B for those, so Legally Blonde, I couldn't even get to their sequel, so they're a C tier in general. Um, I don't know this movie, I don't know this movie, I don't know this movie, fudge dude, there's a lot of movies I don't know, Monsters Inc. is S tier. Alright, listen, I loved Monsters, Inc. growing up, okay? If something made in 2001 is still uh, beloved almost... Oh my god, I said almost 20 years later. It's over 20 years. Whew! 20 years later, it's obviously a good movie. And that's... Yeah, S tier. Uh, we've got Moulin Rouge. I recently watched this. I'm gonna say it's probably... Uh, probably A tier. It was really good. I give it like a 7 out of 10 stars. Um, the ending really pissed me off, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I was gonna give it 8, but the movie made me mad. And so I was like, alright, 7. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we have not seen this movie or this one. Or, or There we go. Not another teen movie is stupid and dumb and raunchy and I love it. It's B tier, all right? I was able to watch that movie and enjoy it. Also, Chris Evans is in it. And if I'm not going to watch America's Ass, what am I doing with my life? Oh, we've got Osmosis Jones. I watched this in, I think, ninth grade science class. And this movie is not S tier. This movie is C tier. All right, listen. Everybody remembers this movie and they're like, oh my God, it's so great. No, it's not. Stop lying to yourself. All right? It's like a one and done. I even bought the DVD a couple years ago to watch it just to make sure I wasn't insane. And I rewatched it. I did. And I was like, shit, I just spent $7.47 on this piece of shit movie. Did I just go on eBay and backtrack years and years of, of purchased items just to see the price of that DVD? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Pokemon Forever, I feel is like it wasn't a big part of my childhood. I love Pokemon. I mean, who in my generation didn't love Pokemon? Um, but I'm not going to throw it in A tier. I'm not. I'm not. Like, I, I really... I it, This movie wasn't a massive part of my childhood. So, I feel like it's probably around C tier. Um, I do own it. But I didn't buy it. My friend bought it for me. Because, I don't know. <laughs> but we didn't see Rat Race. I have not seen... Recess schools out since I was probably like five or six so I don't want to judge it just because I can't honestly judge it uh, Rush Hour 2 is a great movie. We're throwing it in B tier Fantastic movie. I could watch the Rush Hour trilogy all day every day uh, Scary movie 2 same deal here feel like that's definitely a B tier movie um, certainly not a but a good comedy. I mean, seriously, awesome movie. Serendipity, I've never watched it purposely. I've never seen or heard of that one. Shallow Hal. This movie makes me angry. Um, simply because it's stupid. I mean, it's about a guy. Right, we're going to put it in D tier. It's going to be the first one in D tier. And I'm going to tell you why. I love Jack Black. All right. I, I love Jack Black. 
But I hated the concept of the of the story because it's like Jack Black traditionally, as much as I love Jack Black, this was his role was that he was an unattractive, overweight male, and that's I mean I felt that Jack I felt that, but he plays this condescending shallow man who looks at these attractive women like they're objects and it's it's just like it's it's just annoying it's annoying and then he get it's just ah i hate the movie and gwyneth paltrow doesn't help i mean she's just annoying and so jack black this is probably one of my least favorite of your movies and i still own it on dvd so it goes to show I still love you as an actor, sir. <laughs> uh, never heard of this one. Shrek, yep, S tier, S tier. I'm sorry. Um, Shrek, all all the way. I mean, I don't think there's another movie on this list that has been so loved like Shrek. Is Monsters Inc. loved? Yes, absolutely. Is Harry Potter loved? Absolutely. Is Hannibal loved? Yeah, there's those people. But I'm sorry. No matter where you look, Shrek is there, all right? It, it, it's just, he's there. You, I mean, go back, what, a month or so ago, and he was all over TikTok. I mean, it's stupid, but it's true. Shrek is everywhere, and it, it, it's been over 20 years. So I'm not hearing it. S tier, S tier, spirited away. I really want to watch it. I own it. I haven't watched it yet. Spy Kids. This movie, guys, believe it or not, is D tier, okay? I know what you're thinking, like, oh my god, you're a scumbag, why would you do that? I love this movie, I love the whole trilogy as a kid, but growing up is really about realizing that the Spy Kids movies are not as good as you thought they were, alright? Really, I mean, Spy Kids is D tier, and, you know, it's just, I'm sorry, it's just how it is, realistically. Uh, we've got, uh, storytelling, I don't even know what that is, Super Troopers is, I'm sorry, this is an A-tier comedy, the second one released many, many, many years later is not incredible by any means necessary, but the original Super Troopers is quite literally one of the funniest movies I've ever seen, and I love watching it, it really was just top content, 2001, so, uh, Swordfish, I've heard a lot about it. I've never seen it. Oh, God, the animal. The animal. Guys, the animal is D tier. I can't stand it. Move on. Never heard of the Devil's Backbone. The Fast and the Furious, the original movie, is actually A tier. Believe it or not, there was a time where Fast and Furious was A tier. I, oh, I know. It's crazy. It's nuts. It's bonkers. Uh, we got The Last Castle. I've never heard of that. Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. This guy's is S tier. I refuse to say it's not. Lord of the Rings, incredible, incredible trilogy. Always going to be S tier. Uh, never seen this one. Never seen this one. I don't even know what this one is. The Mummy Returns. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big fan of the Mummy franchise. Um, then again... I understand how big it was, and it isn't a bad movie. It's rewatchable. I'm going to throw it in B, all right? I feel like it's definitely worth a B. Um, the one, I've never heard of that. The others, I've heard of that. I own it. I've not seen it. Uh, the Piano Teacher, I've not seen that. The Princess Diaries, I feel like that's C tier. I, I watched it like once. Um, a couple years ago, I have the first and the second on Blu-ray. It, 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 it's meh, alright? It's meh. Uh, I'm not even sure. The Royal Tenenbaums, I've never seen it. Uh, the Score, I've never seen it. The Sun's Room, I've never even heard of it. The Wedding Planner, I watched this when I was like five, and I've never seen it again. Training Day, I have watched this when I was like five, and I've never seen it again. Vanilla Sky, I own it, and I haven't seen it. Guys, I'm so sorry. Uh, walking walking Life? Waking Life. Never even heard of it. Uh, Alright. Wendigo, I've seen it. We're going to wait, because there's a couple I haven't seen. 
I, this. I haven't seen this. I don't know what the hell that is. What does it even say? I don't even know what that says. Anyways, Wendigo. Guys, Wendigo is F tier. Alright? F tier. Worst movie on this entire year. I watched Wendigo. I bought all right. I bought Wendigo on DVD recently. Recently, maybe like a year ago. Um, at a yard sale for like 50 cents. I was like, alright, let's check it out. Movie's horrible. Alright, it's not the worst movie I've ever seen, but it pisses me off at every other direction. It just, it makes me angry no matter how I look at the movie. Mad. Wet Hot American Summer is mid C tier. Uh, Zoolander is one of the greatest comedies of all time. Um, we're gonna throw it an A tier just because I feel like it doesn't surpass and get into the same ranks as these other films, but A tier for sure. Uh, so there we go. That is every movie from 2001. These don't matter. F fuck all these ones. But right there, every movie I have seen from the year 2001, I mean, it's not a whole lot. And I feel like there's definitely a bunch on uh, in, in my movie collection that I've seen from the year 2001 that just aren't in this particular tier list. But this is what I've seen. This is how I feel. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here and you want to subscribe, I'm doing every single year from the year 2000 all the way to 2022. So get excited, get ready, or don't. I don't care. So yeah, without further ado, that's the end of the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.